you have all the comfort, safety, and convenience that comes standard with Gau Train. So go on, have yourself twice the fun at half the price once a month. Tis the season apply. For more info, visit our website at gautrain.co.za. Gau Train, your cost-effective transport alternative. Yeah, boy. Coming up, the big interview. Time now for the latest eyewitness news. After that, of course, we'll be focusing on this awful, awful story. But the broader picture of gun violence in South Africa and who's going to protect us when even the police at times aren't able to do that for themselves. It's coming up after this eyewitness news brought to you by My Way Business Insurance, helping you do business your way. My Way is a licensed non-life insurer and MSP. This is Eyewitness News. Fans left devastated by the death of South African hip hop maestro, AKA. Not to share that he's, he's gone. We're not going to be able to have like new, new music or performances from AKA. But uh, it's devastating. And the death toll from the Turkey A, uh, earthquake in Turkey A and Syria continues to rise. Good morning, I'm Gladys Mudele. Fans of Grandpa AKA have braved the rain in Durban to pay their last respects to him and his late associate, Bebe Law Tibbs Motswane. The pair was shot and killed outside a Florida Road restaurant in Durban on Friday night. They were both declared dead at the scene. Fans, friends and artists gathered in a candlelight prayer session where the pair died on Friday. We should let the channel go further. Unlike Friday night, oh, where the scene was full of police and the restaurant cordoned off with police tape, there was a celebration of two fans came to celebrate the victims. There was also singing and dancing to AKA's music. <laughs> His music was a soundtrack to her and her children's lives. Every time I listen to AKA's music, I'm going to dance. Eh? What part of her life? AKA. We're not going to be able to do it. We're not going to be able to do it. We're not going to be able to do it. While the murder of AKA has sent shockwaves through the music industry, many artists have described him as a legend. AKA often took to the airwaves, happy to answer questions about his life. Ray White takes a look. Then 702 presenter Zania Wasaka interviewed AKA in 2017 on Friday at the club. She asked him about the name of Super Mega and where it came from. Oh, Super Mega was something that I just decided one day I started calling myself, you know. Okay. I like uh, inventing like different nicknames for myself mm -hmm. at different stages of my career. And he was asked about the confidence and whether this helped him to perform live on stage. I think you have to be, you know, to, to be confident. There's a, I believe there's a distinct link between being brave and being confident, right? Yes. So yes. in order to be confident and to build that confidence and try things, you have to be brave. And it's kind of like a chicken and the egg, you know? Mm -hmm. You can't be confident without being brave. You can't be brave without being confident. And he was never afraid to open himself up to questions from fans while on radio. No, no, it was no, on no. KFM when presenter Carl Wasty asked him about day. Father's Day and what he was expecting from his young Give daughter. Him he leaves behind yeah, his seven-year-old daughter. Sorry. While AKA was known to many for his stage performances, Seth was behind the mic on radio that many of his fans also got to know him. Ray White, Eyewitness News. In other news, the presidency has refused to be drawn to comment on who will be at the helm of the new electricity ministry. This comes after President Cyril Ramaphosa announced plans to create a new portfolio specifically to address the country's erratic electricity supply amid ESCOM's woes. Ramaphosa also declared a national state of disaster in response to the power crisis.
Presidency spokesperson Vincent Makwenye says President Cyril Ramaphosa is locked in consultations about the future of his executive amid speculation of a cabinet reshuffle. At least three cabinet seats remain open, including public service and administration, transport, as well as the newly created electricity portfolio. While there are many bets on the table around who will be appointed to find working solutions to the country's power crisis, Makwenye says Ramaphosa will make an announcement soon. We're not going to have a public brainstorm. Faced with the tough job of dealing with the crisis that dates back to 2008, Makwenye says the incoming minister will be hands-on. Even if it means that minister goes and camps outside of ESCOM. The presidency has dismissed criticism leveled against Ramaphosa, accusing the head of state of centralizing power in his office. Eyewitness News. Newly appointed roads and transport NAC in Johannesburg, Kelly Kumene, has assured residents that there will no longer be political instability in the city. In an exclusive interview with Eyewitness News, he said that even though Johannesburg's new leadership is said to be an interim and transitional arrangement, it will not cause turmoil in the coalition government. As it stands, a joint leadership governs the city with Al Jama, the ANC, EFF, and the Patriotic Alliance at the helm. Gunene, who is Deputy President of the PA, was appointed NMC after Al Jama's Tapelo Ahmad was elected mayor last month following the DA's impopulated ousting. Alpha Ramushwana has more. The ANC and the EFF have been in power sharing talks for over three months now, which could see the Red Berets supporting an ANC candidate for the mayor of position in Johannesburg. Should this prevail, Al Jamat Tabelo Ahmad will be forced to step down from the mayor of position, bringing yet another change in the metro's leadership. However, the Patriotic Alliance's Kelly Kunene insists that the change in mayors will not affect service delivery, nor will it bring about its stability in the city. From the discussions amongst the political parties, the feeling is that this, this, this arrangement must go on until uh, 2024. If a mayor is changed within this coalition, it will not affect anything. Kunene says a complete overhaul in the mayoral executive will only be seen if the DA and its coalition regains power. Alpha Ramushwana, Eyewitness News. And the death toll from the devastating earthquake in Turkey and Syria has passed 34,000 with tens of thousands of people injured. The 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck Turkey near the Syrian border exactly a week ago. The rescue teams are still searching for survivors, although hopes of finding any of them alive are now fading. Gold is trading at $1,857.57 an ounce. The rands at 17.95 to the dollar, 21.62 to the pound, 19.15 to the euro. Brent crude oil is at 86 dollars, 39 cents a barrel. And the traffic, we have slow moving traffic on the M1 South, and that's from the M14 going towards Old Bus and Dane Road. That's all due to faulty traffic that's in the area. There's also slow moving traffic, uh, slow moving traffic rather, on Old Bus and Dane Road going east from Blue Hills Shopping Centre. In your sport, victory for Manchester City and Man United keeps the pressure on league leaders Arsenal. Aidan Markham, named player of the series after the Sunrisers Eastern Cape won the inaugural SA20. Approaches women go in search of their first win at the T20 World Cup. They play New Zealand at 7 p.m. tonight. A cloudy Monday in store for Hoping today with scattered afternoon showers and thunder showers. Johannesburg starting at a low of 16 degrees, peaking at 24. Victoria 17 and 26, Brianaging 16 and 25. The top story in Eyewitness News this hour. Fans of Rafa aka have braved the rain in Durban to pay their last respects to him and his late associate, Kebelo Tibbs Motswane. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, visit ewn.mobi. Why does My Way Business Insurance give businesses more? Because the more we can help you keep your business running smoothly, the better. We offer van and truck insurance, which gives truck owners towing and recovery services, emergency repairs, and cover against loss of fuel. Just one way we do more to help protect the business it was so hard to do. So visit myway.co.za today to find out way more. MyWay is a licensed non-life insurance FSP. T's and C's apply. Current events, developing stories, Tough questions. Your voice. Making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bengwa. On 702.
Nine minutes after seven o'clock, you are listening to 702 Breakfast on this Monday morning. It is, of course, uh, the date is the 13th of February, it's the day before Valentine's Day, the year of our Lord 2023. Fans, the music industry, South African broadly, just devastated, devastated by the death of this hip hop maestro, AKA. But it's, of course, a story that happens in the context of the country we live in, right? Guns take 30 lives a day in this country. 30 people die. And they're not all prominent. They're not all famous. They don't attract headlines, but they are being mowed down. And we need a broader conversation about gun violence in South Africa. See, on Friday, a friend of mine, very dear, very yeah. near, was kidnapped. He was hijacked. He thought it was a hijacking. He got out of his vehicle. Um, you know, he was within meters, within meters of the complex where he stays. And he thought these people wanted the vehicle. Yeah. And so he says, I got up, my hands were in the air. I closed my eyes. I didn't want to see them. I wanted to make it clear to them that I wasn't going to look at them. And they said, no, 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 no. We don't want the car. We want the money in your bank account. And so they drove him to some secluded place and they beat him up and they forced him to empty out all his